Today, the theme of our lesson is discussing career options. Today, you will be able to identify the phrases, write the answers, choose false and true statements. Answer the questions. 1. What is your hobby? Compare your answer. My hobby is going canoeing. 2. Why do you like your hobby? Compare your answer. I like my hobby because it's exciting. 3. Will your hobby help you in your future job? Compare your answer. Yes, it will. My hobby will help me in my future job because I'm going to be a sportsman. Now your task is to identify who says these phrases. A career guidance counselor or a student. Now I'll give you some minutes. Let's check up your answers. A career guidance counselor. Have you decided what you'd like to study? Do you have any hobbies? Have you thought about studying? That's what I'm here for. A student. I'm still not sure what's the best for me. That sounds interesting. Everyday English 1D Exercises 1 and 3, page 12. Have a seat, Asso. Thanks. So, Asso, have you decided what you'd like to study at university? I've been thinking about it, but I'm still not sure what's best for me. What kind of job do you think you might be happy doing? Well, I like the thought of working with animals, but I don't want to be a vet. I see. Do you have any hobbies? I like swimming. I also enjoy scuba diving because I get to see water animals and plants in their natural environment. How are you doing in biology and chemistry? I'm doing really well. I usually get top marks. Have you thought about studying marine biology? That sounds interesting. Why don't you think about it? Discuss it with your parents and we'll talk again next week. Okay, thank you. You've been a big help. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. Your task is to find phrases in the dialogue which mean the same. The first phrase, I understand. The second phrase, is there something you like doing in your free time? The third phrase, what results are you getting in? The fourth phrase, don't mention it. And the fifth phrase, I'm only doing my job. Let's check up your answers. I understand. I see. Is there something you like doing in your free time? Do you have any hobbies? What results are you getting in? How are you doing in? Don't mention it. You're welcome. I'm only doing my job. That's what I'm here for. Pay attention to this note. Many nouns ending in ICS are used in the singular. These include athletics, gymnastics, mathematics, physics, electronics, economics, politics. For example, physics is my favorite subject, is in a singular form. The last task is to write the answers. First, what you'd like to study at university. The second, what kind of job do you think you might be happy doing? Three, do you have any hobbies? Four, how are you doing in English? 
math. Five, have you thought about studying chemistry? Six, why do you or don't you think about it? Write your answers. Now compare your answers. 1. I'd like to study maths at university. 2. I think the job of an engineer might be the best. 3. Yes, I do. My hobby is making model cars. 4. I'm good at math and English. 5. I haven't thought about studying, but I think it sounds great. 6. I don't think about studying chemistry because I'm not interested in this subject. Listen to an interview and mark the statements as true and false. 1. Her decision to leave her medical career was not hard. 2. Her business grew immediately. 3. She shares the same skills as her mother. 4. Traditional clothes are an important part of Kazakh celebrations. 5. She plans to change careers again. Exercise 7, page 11. Good evening and welcome to the show. Tonight we have Jonathan Mills with us, who has written a book, When Your Hobby Becomes Your Job. Jonathan, can you tell us what your book is about? Yes, of course. First of all, thank you for having me on the show. My book is about Damigul Abikanova, a successful Kazakh businesswoman who has turned her hobby, making clothes, into a job. That's amazing! What made her do this? Well. After working for 12 years as a medical worker, she decided to quit her job and follow her passion. This was not an easy decision for her, but at the time, her family also needed to earn more money. So, in 2008, she rented a small shop to start her business of tailoring and fitting traditional Kazakh clothing. The business grew so quickly that three years after, she expanded and bought more machinery and hired more workers. Making traditional clothes is a special skill. Where did she learn how to do this? Her mother. She used to make traditional clothes. How important are traditional clothes in Kazakhstan? They are very important and they are in high demand. They are used in celebrations such as weddings, in official ceremonies, traditional holidays and other occasions. Does Damigol Abikanova have any plans to expand her business? Yes. She wants to add a full range of services for her clients which include makeup, costumes and photo services. OK, we're going to take a short break now, but we'll be back in a couple of minutes. So if you have any questions for Jonathan, get calling now on the usual number, which is 513-4567. Let's check up your answers. 1. Her decision to leave her medical career was not hard. It's false because in the interview, she says that it was not an easy decision. The second, her business grew immediately. It's false, because three years after she expanded and bought more machinery, three years is not immediately. Three, she shares the same skills as her mother. It's true. Four, traditional clothes are an important part of Kazakh celebrations. It's true. 5. She plans to change careers again. It's false, because there is no information about changing her career's plans. Now, assess yourself. For example, I can identify the phrases good. I can understand the dialogue not very well. I can write the answers very well. I can find true and false statements good. Your whole task is to write a similar dialogue to one on page 12. 